Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hippie. I am here today to do another day in the life video. These are some of my favorite videos to do. Even though they're very difficult to do because like literally you're filming everything and then you have to go through all that footage and find out what footage is actually deemed worthy to be put in the final cut of this video. But anyways, we're doing a day in the life video. Today I have to bring my daughter to the dentist. My youngest daughter needs someone to look after her, as she would say, when we are going to the dentist. So she's going to go to my mom's house and go swimming. And we just have a lot of stuff we got to get done today. So if you're interested in a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom, go ahead and continue on this video. If not, I'll see you on the next one. And here we go. So the first thing we need to do, open the windows. I need some light. some toys too. All right so I've gotten the windows open now I want to go into the kitchen. My dog's barking my groceries must be here. I want to go in the kitchen and see if I can catch on camera the noise a bug has been making for the last two mornings. I was woken up the last two mornings by this loud bug almost kind of like a cricket makes that little noise with its legs. It sounds similar just not as screechy. So I'm really not sure what it is. I'm not a bug expert, but it's woken me up the last two nights or the last two mornings. And it sounds like an alarm. So I have taken the curtain off of my kitchen window this morning. Like I woke up this morning and just yanked the curtains down, like the rods, the curtains, everything. Cause I can't pinpoint where this bug is. It's really bugging me, <laughs> pun intended, I guess. But um, I'm trying to find it. I don't know what kind of bug it is. I don't know. My husband said it might be a locust bug. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be dark. I'm sorry. You hear it? Do you hear it? So I'm not 100% sure. My kitchen's a mess right now. We'll be cleaning that up later. Yeah, I took the curtains off. So, uh, yeah, and it took the paint with it. So the curtains have come off. Paint has also come off. Some of the drywall that's covering that metal, I don't know, like, I don't even know why there's metal right there, to be honest. But, yeah. What is this bug? You hear it? There's my groceries. I could really use a change of scenery. Yeah. Everybody's smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the match because they were handed down to me. But I'm still fly. I'm still fly. I know. I'm still fly. I'm still fly. Let's go. It could all be worse. I could be a hater like you. You proved to me yeah. that rising to the top was my destiny. Yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me, but I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go. It could all be worse, I could be a hater like you. It could oh. all be worse. Clothes to make the man, but that poison's gonna kill you. Just now say it with your chest now, say it with your chest now. Say it with your chest now, 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 say it with your chest now,
your chest now I'm young, I'm free Can't nobody take me here and now It's my time to ride it out It's my time, it's my time It's my time to ride it out I'm young, I'm free Can't nobody take me Everything has arrived. I got groceries today. I wasn't expecting to film it, but um, yeah, this bug's really bugging me. I'm trying to find it. What kind of bug it is, I don't know. I'm gonna take apart the kitchen today to find it, I think. What is that bug? Oh, you need out. Let's get out. Oh my gosh, I can't unlock it. My watermelon. Oh my gosh, it is already hot outside. I'm very curious about the temperature. But yeah, I got rid of a lot of the watermelon, you see? It was uh, overtaking the entire concrete out there. But now it's not. And I have a little watermelon. I also have a little cucumber over here. It's kind of hard to see it. It's in the center. Like the exact center of the screen. There's a little curly cucumber. It looks like a little bitty uh, pickle. This bug's driving me crazy. Ah! I don't want to coexist with you. Not inside my house. You can make a little shelter outside on my patio. But not in my kitchen. This bug's gonna make me go crazy. Anyways, I'm normally okay with the substitutions that Walmart provides. But this one just a little bit... Mmm... Crazy. So I ordered the cheddar cheese or the white cheddar poppable chip snacks. And then they were out, so they substituted it with barbecue. My child don't like barbecue. These chips are for my child. I'm going to probably eat them now. I mean, I'm going to have to eat them now. We're not going to let them go to waste. But this, I, and the thing is, I woke up early trying to see what the substitutions were so that I can go and say no or yes. But they did not give me my substitution notification until after the substitution window was closed like the acceptance of the substitution like you can either say yes or no and if you don't say anything they're just going to roll with it and they're going to substitute whatever they want and i woke up early but they never sent me any notifications i don't have the app on my phone you're supposed to send me those notifications so that i can still get them send it through the phone number that's listed on my account or send it to my email and you didn't do any of those until after the window for changing the substitutions or accepting them was closed. I wouldn't have got barbecue poppables for my child. I would not have. I would have gotten the regular cheese ones that she likes. 
But other than that, I'm normally a-okay with everything Walmart substitutes for me. Mom of a picky toddler problems, I tell you. Being still in things I well. What facts belong, it's hard to say. Your pattern is so hard to tell. But we're together, that's our So we have dropped off the little sister and now the big sister needs to go to her dentist appointment. So on the road again. All right, so now we are at the dentist's office and we are about 15 minutes early, but we're gonna go ahead and get in, get checked in so we can hopefully get out of here sooner than what is expected. All right, so we are finally home. That's right, we're home, yay! Sister's appointment is over with, but she does have some cavities that we need to take care of. Ma'am. They're my dog. That's your side. Yeah, they, we switched sides the other day whenever we got the um, that piece of furniture from Hobby Lobby, and we just haven't switched it back. So maybe we're just gonna change sides. So we are back from doing all the things, which wasn't really a lot of things, but we are back home now. And I was doing dishes and I found the bug that was making the noise. I found a cricket. It was no longer with us and it was in the sink in a plate that had water sitting atop it so that the barbecue sauce that was kind of on there would be you know agitated and it would lift off easier and it wasn't there earlier so I guess when I removed the curtains I don't know maybe it was on the curtain and it fell down because I didn't see anything when I moved the curtains but it was there when we got back so I found out I was making the noise and now I'm kind of sad that's sad oh the poor cricket hmm. But I found out what was making the noise, and I guess tomorrow it's not going to be making noise. Which, yay, but also that's kind of sad. So what I really need to do is marinate this chicken. Not even sure it's all the way thawed out yet, actually. So we'll wait just a moment. I'm actually going to pull it out and then go put it over here. And we will be marinating that within the next 30 minutes and then getting it back into the refrigerator so it doesn't drop to the temperature danger zone. Or I guess raise up to the temperature danger zone because it's already... Okay. So we're just going to leave this out for just a second. Yeah, it's been in the refrigerator overnight. So it's not like frozen solid, but it needs to kind of loosen up. And my fridge is way too cold for it to loosen up so we're gonna go ahead and let it uh, thaw out just a little bit maybe 30 minutes we don't want it dropping to the temperature danger zone or i mean raising up to the temperature danger zone but i do want this to kind of get a little bit more thawed out so i can get some seasonings all over this chicken so it can marinate until i'm ready to cook later on tonight i still have on my glasses i love these glasses oh they're so cute i just don't get to wear them so often they don't really match with a whole lot of stuff that i have so i like when i'm able to wear them let's get closer up and see if we can I'm going to go ahead and probably use this as a thumbnail. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to stop the video here to take a picture. This chicken is not thawing out as quickly as I would like it to. I'm about to get in there and stir it up 
and uh, hopefully get this seasoning well coated because it's all at the bottom because it just didn't want to stick. It's a real chicken in there. It is a real chicken in here. It's just um, cut up so that we can eat it so we don't have to cut it ourselves. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> that was a little strange. The weather is looking pretty glum over there. And the wind is blowing pretty hard. It's just taking a little break right now. I am anticipating this weather to get a whole lot worse than it is right now. Because it's not raining yet. But uh, this time of the year, it typically rains about every single day where I live. So yeah, I'm anticipating some rain to come. The wind's already made it. My husband wanted to come home and cut the grass, but uh, I don't think that's a possibility. I don't think that's going to work out. All right, so the chicken is going back in the refrigerator, and it is going to sit there until I am ready to cook it. All right, so my oven is at temp, and I'm going to get started. It's a little bit later than I wanted it to be, but my husband's off of work tomorrow. It is a summer night. We can stay up a little bit later than planned. You know, but honestly, I feel like um, this summer, we have probably stayed up later, more consistently than what's normal. But that's okay. This summer is a time where you're able to do things a little bit different than day-to-day -day life. Okay, but I gotta go get the chicken from out of the refrigerator and put it in a pan. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put them in a pan that's a little bit too small for them. That way they have a better chance of cooking in their own juices rather than the juices leaving and the chicken getting really dry. So update, my husband was able to uh, come cut the grass and it still looks very gloomy outside but it has not rained yet and the wind has gone away so. Yay! Alright, I am going to turn the hot water on so that if I have to touch the chicken, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to, I can wash my hands after. But while we wait for that to get a little bit warm, because it's going to take a while, it's going to take a few minutes, the hot water heater is about as far away as it can possibly be. Um, look, these poor things, I need to probably trim them again and then uh clean the water out and see what's uh gonna go on with these because i'm not sure if they're going to do what i would like them to do all right it's almost hot let's get the chicken Ooh. it's kind of hard to grab things uh when you're looking through a viewfinder okay the chicken over here actually going to probably just uh, go right on in. Uh, I wonder if... Okay, wait, maybe I don't have to touch the chicken. I can use this. It's already dirty. Oh, this is marvelous. This is a wonderful, wonderful idea. And I can also make sure that I'm getting all this... Um, stuff out all that marinade and then I do need to add more seasoning that was just a marinade okay you marinate your chicken and then you season it okay don't just marinate you know it's dripping that's gross all right so my oven is at temp and I'm gonna get started it's a little bit later than I wanted it to be but my husband's off of work tomorrow it is a summer night we can stay up a little bit later than planned so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and season this chicken, probably add a little butter to it. I would like to get some gravy. And uh, I'm going to cook some rice. I'm going to boil some potatoes, probably mash those potatoes. Or I'll just like mash individual potatoes, like if that makes sense, cut them in half and then kind of mash them up. 
And yeah, that's going to be dinner and some asparagus. My husband likes asparagus. I like asparagus. The children don't like asparagus, but they will eat chicken and rice or they will eat chicken and potatoes. I need to unload the dishwasher. And I already have more dishes that need to be cleaned. <sighs> Yay! But I'm going to um, probably unload the dishwasher and then I will finish with all the dinner pots then do these dishes before I go to sleep because I don't want to wake up to a whole sink full of dishes and I especially can't leave that because that's where the chicken just was and yeah this whole sink needs to be cleaned now very thoroughly but we got the chicken in and we are on a roll to finishing up everything we need to do for the day. I have started dinner a little bit late. I do have some, um, I need to put that back up. I don't know if I'm going to put it up tonight. I mean, I don't think, like my neighbors are right on top of me. Yeah, but I don't think they can see in through here. So we'll just probably... Um, try and maybe put some plaster or something where the paint and the uh, sheetrock, the drywall, whatever, whatever was ripped off right there that needs to be fixed. Look at that. See, that's like really bad. Yikes. That needs to be uh, addressed. That looks gross. Need to fix it. You want an octopus hot dog? I want a hot dog too. Awesome. I will make you two octopus shaped hot dogs. And I will put goldfish on the plate. And I will put some cheese on it. Alright. I will get that for you. I will get that for you. I don't think she's going to eat the chicken. Are you going to try the chicken just for fun in a little bit? I don't like chicken. Okay. I am boy. Thank you, thank you. So I might get up there later on tonight and try and clean um, that up, fix it however I can. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't have a tripod right now, so it would be really hard for me to position the camera to see over there. I'm not sure, so I'm not going to promise anything. Okay! So, I said I was going to boil potatoes, but really we're just going to do it in the Instapot. Alright, are you going to help me pour it? Yeah! Stand up. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. That's perfect! Oh, heavy. It is a little bit heavy. Thank you so much. You're such a great helper. All right, so chicken is uh, just about finished. I really need to clean this oven. I've never done it yet. Chicken is just about finished. I'm going to get a spoon and baste it real quick. And uh, the rice is almost finished, too. But uh, not quite. There's still a little bit too much moisture in there. So we're going to just go ahead and baste this. And then, uh, yeah, that will be just about everything. The potatoes are also finished. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, so uh, everything is just about finished. I need bread with this, actually. Maybe I should do some biscuits. 